going on everybody? Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to find a short in an electrical system using a test light. So whenever a, a system has a short in it, it's usually constantly blowing the fuse and you're having to constantly shove new fuses in or if you have a circuit breaker, you can always have to reset that circuit breaker. But if you know the laws of electricity, you know that as long as there is a loaded in the circuit, then the circuit's gonna be fine. So what you do is you'll take a test light, put it in line where the fuse is. So you'll take the test light and we're using this fuse as an example. And then I've created a short in the circuit just to where this ignition coil needs to go. And here is the fuse for that coil. What I'm doing is, is I'm taking this test light and putting it in line with the fuse. And so now this test light is acting in place of the fuse. And what it's gonna do is, this is gonna absorb all the current flow through the shorted circuit. And this, what this does is it allows you to track down a short in the system without having to constantly take fuses in and out or constantly reset the circuit breaker. All right, so as you can see, test lights in line, test lights lit up. That is because we now have power on our circuit and then we have our simulated short to ground. That test light is taking up the load of the current and so you're now safely able to test the whole circuit to find your short. What's good about the test light versus other testing methods is when, the, when you find your short, like right here, I'm gonna disconnect it, boom. Light went away, I'm gonna reground it, lights back on. You have a visual representation of your circuit either being complete, meaning it's shorted to ground, or open them back up once you find that short. As you can see, using a test light not only gives you that visual representation of you have a completed circuit where your one circuit is shorted to ground, but it also takes the load of the circuit so that way you don't have just a literal, literal short to ground, meaning power straight from the battery to ground. This test light takes the load up, but Let's just say, for instance, you're laying under a car and the fuse is up here and you're underneath the vehicle trying to find that short to ground and you can't see the light. You wanna take an audible device and you're gonna put this in line with the test light so that way you can hear the buzz while the test light's also absorbing all that current flow. So you kind of get a two for one, you get the test light absorbing that current, but then you also have this that gives you that audible recognition of do I still have a short to ground or do I not whenever you're under the vehicle or not being able to view the test light. So let's get this set up. Now we've got our no audible indicator plugged in. We can now, as you can see, it's still shorted to ground. Turn our ignition on. We now have an audible noise. Now, whenever you are setting this up, one thing that you do have to make sure of is that your power wire that goes into this box is actually going to the power side of the relay. So whichever one is getting the voltage and then your ground side needs to actually go to whichever side is grounded. So whichever one that's going to the grounded circuit, and then your positive is whichever one you get your power side. And once you have that in line, it's still taking up your current flow, but then it is also giving you that audible noise. So if you're under the vehicle trying to find a short, you have this to be able to give you that, that indication of you still have current flowing all the way through the system, which means you have not found that ground yet. Now, there is more than one way to skin a cat, and I already know there's gonna be people who say, well, you can find a short X, Y, Z. That's fine, more power to you, but this is how I do it. I use a test light and place the fuse so that way it absorbs that current flow and allows you to figure out where in the system the short is without you know, blowing a bunch of fuses or constantly having to reset a circuit breaker. But then with the audible box, it also allows you to have that, like I said, that, that noise. So that way if you're under the car, in the trunk, you're upside down under the dash trying to find that short, 
you can at least have something to listen to so that way you know, okay, I'm in the right spot or I'm not. Thank you guys, uh, really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Always remember, did you die today, bro?